Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to do an example on the truss bearing. Here we have one with a sleeve. So the only part that is actually rubbing against the housing is the sleeve of the bearing. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the moment to keep the bearing moving at a constant speed or a constant motion. And therefore, we need the kinetic coefficient of friction, which in this case is 0.025. We know the radius of the actual bearing and the radius of the sleeve. And we know that the weight of the bearing is 400 newtons, which will become the force by which the bearing is being pushed against the housing. How do we do that? Well, we need the equation that we derived a few videos ago, where we said that the moment is equal to two-thirds times the coefficient of kinetic friction times the force of the push of the, against the bearing, pushing it into the housing, times the ratio of r2 cubed minus r1 cubed divided by r2 squared minus r1 squared. And we have to use this equation, not the simplified equation, because we do have a portion here, an inner radius that's not actually touching the housing. In other words, we're looking at the bottom of the bearing where it's sliding over the housing where only this portion is touching and this is really hollow in all intended purposes. So here would be R1 and there would be R2. All right, so let's plug in the values and see what we get. This is equal to 2 thirds times the coefficient of friction, 0.025 times the force of the push, which is equal to the weight right here, 400 newtons, times R2 cubed, now R2 is 20 centimeters, or 0.2 meters, we have to cube that, minus the inner radius, 0.1 cubed, divided by 0.2 squared minus 0.1 squared. Let's see what that equals to. Of course, always a good thing that we have calculators or something like that. 0.2 cubed minus 0.1 cubed divided by 0.2 squared minus 0.1 squared equals, we multiply that times 400, we multiply that times 0 0.025, and we multiply that times 2, and divide by 3, and that gives us not a lot of moment. Moment is equal to 1.56 newton meters. The reason why this is a relatively small number is the coefficient of kinetic friction is a very small number, 0 0.025, which means the moment required to keep the axle moving is just a mere 1.56 newton meters. And that's how we do it.